Yo, what up? It's your boy, Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. Black Gritty. Welcome to another episode of Gritty Nights. What's up, Jason? What's going on? Nothing. Uh, we're going to talk about the draft, and I hate the draft of the NBA. It was bad. It was a bad watch. First of all, they have a formula. And the NFL, you know, I hate giving the NFL so much credence and things like that, but my goodness, they have a formula for you to follow. And everything was just bad and apparently the nielsen ratings say this is one of the highest drafts ever that's crazy i don't know why viewed okay so <laughs> let's jump right into it um probably one of the first reasons oh, why Wendy. is because we had the most anticipated draft pick in the history of basketball Wendy. since lebron but whatever yeah. but like, <laughs> like i guess so, we all just forgot so when they who was it Winhurst that said that it wasn't Winhurst. No, no Winhurst was trying was to back go the other it. way with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I forget who said it, but it it caught so much traction right everywhere. And I'm like, do you not know who Luau Cinder is? Right. Do you not know who LeBron is? Like, it, obviously the answer is LeBron James. Yeah, of course. Right. Like, it, Wemby's up there though. Yeah, I mean, uh, the only other like in the top like five, it'd be Shaq, mm -hmm. Magic. Um, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Ben Simmons. Oh, shut the fuck up. Nope. <laughs> oh, God. Stop it. I'm trying to be serious. You're throwing out this bullshit at me. Uh, Shaq, LeBron, Magic, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And I mean, I don't really know who else is after that. So the reason I don't think this guy's even close to being in that category, he's not even top five. Do you know why? Because I just heard about him six months ago. <laughs> yeah, was... I, I don't know who he is. Right. I knew who LeBron James was like three years before he could go to the NBA. I think Women Yama's fire. It started last year, though. The, the, his name started circulating around. Uh, uh, his name was circulating around with right. other people's names. Like, yeah. what you know, again, th I heard of him, but I didn't know anything about him, and I didn't care. Right. I cared about who the fuck, who is LeBron James? Yeah. Who is this kid? <laughs> You know what I mean? And locally, I'd say Kobe Bryant, but I also feel like that's because he was in my, our backyard. Yes, that's the only reason so we knew so much about him. We knew so much about him, and his father was a player. So, again, Kobe's still in the top five of that. Yeah. This Wemby kid, like, oh, one-year wonder of, oh, this guy's going to be great. <laughs> Come on, dude. I hope he is great, though. <sighs> I sure. It's good for the league. When there's sure. more great players, it's just good for the league. You're it's right. more You're fun right. to watch that way. You're right. We, we've we lost uh, players to stripping and dipping yeah, and – uh, uh, pistol Pete, and so you're right. <laughs> we do need another young star to become the face of the league as LeBron ages out, and he will not be able to carry the NBA anymore until he opens up his own team. Right. And uh, now we got to do the which star is going to be the next guy to carry the league and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Wemby has the greatest gift given to him, which was given to him by the league because that's rigged. I, you know, people say the NBA is rigged, NFL is rigged. Like, we can argue about that on and off. I know the drafts are rigged. Yeah, for sure. The drafts are the rigged. The lotteries are certainly rigged. 100%. <laughs> like, they literally gave the Sixers Ben Simmons, like, yo, this is it. We're done. Yeah. No There's more no more first. Right. There's no more. Like, you're it. This is it. We're going to give you this piece. Yeah, like, make it work. And, and then you, yes, you figure it out. And then you got to take Kalanja Clown. Like, yep. you, it's over for you. And so I know that this is rigged. Uh, Popovich got the next generational talent like he did Tim Duncan. And uh, I'm like, okay, well, he's going to win another championship now. It's just a matter of when at this point, right? As long as Wemben Yama stays healthy. They, well, have a, they have a ton of cap room to build. People are going to want to go there. Every, everybody's going to want to pile back on and go there to play. Yeah, and, sure. he, and, he'll, and they make good trades because they've got a lot of young assets. Yep. You know, they processed without processing. They get no criticism for it, though. Not at That's all okay, because it's Greg Popovich. Yep. And, <laughs> and, and at the same time, Pop wasn't winning only 10 games a year. They're also a better organization. Yeah. So. Uh, Pop, oh God. They are, just I, hands down. They aren't a better organization. <laughs> Greg Popovich is such a scam artist. I mean, I love him <laughs> the way he talks is like that, but I'm like, oh, so the lockout year comes and you tank and mm -hmm. to go get a guy and you had a guy, then you fire the coach that was, was winning for you, step into his position because you know you're getting a generational talent and you already got the admiral and you win a championship, and then the Admiral itself in the sunset. Whoop, de do. Who you know the funniest thing that happened have that done year that? Too, Who couldn't have done that? 
you know who couldn't have done that? Who? Rick Pitino couldn't because he took that Celtics job that year also. And then afterwards, when he failed, said, you know, it would have been much different if we would have got Duncan. Like, why would you take that job before the lottery? Yeah. Like, just be smart. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> yeah. But again, he fired the coach, took his spot, and then walked into some championships. It's brilliant, and- though. Now, of course, it's brilliant, but it's still scumbaggy <laughs> stuff. It's the same reason I hate Golden State. Like the, the, the co- doing things to coaches irks me. Anyway, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get a championship. I say they get a championship in the next three years. Yep. Uh, because Pop also is very old, and he's looking to pass the reins down. Might get our first female head coach. Oh yeah, because he he Jackie he, Hammonds. he loves pushing that stuff. You know what I mean? Like he loves doing weird stuff. Like. He just sat home the one day and was like, here, let Tim Duncan coach. Yeah, just <laughs> like, and Tim just, you know, so I, they're going to win with this one. We get again, health evolve, whatever. Um, I assume they're going to play him at center and he's going to cook everybody except for no Gitch or Joe Gitch, Joker and then beat. Right. And then beat. Right. Everybody else though, like. Yeah. Cause you're not gonna be able to cover him on no. offense. He, he'll be able to pull you out to anywhere. Yeah. And. I assume he's got to get injured, but he does have a weird regiment. It seems like for strength and stuff like that for, this for years. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. I want to bet him to win defensive player of the year and rookie of the year. Ooh. Cause he averaged more blocks on in that French league than Gobert did. Yeah. I mean, he's like nine, nine feet tall. So, uh, yeah. The Wimby thing. Yeah. Uh, Windhorse was saying, watch him, uh, contest a shot at the rim. So they got to pass it back out. And he'll deflect the three before they can get it out there. He'll be out there to block it. Like, oh shit! Well, his like, his wingspan is like two park benches, yeah. twenty three subway subs from Subway. Like, you see, people were trying to get on him because uh, he was doing his photo shoot with the Spurs, and he wasn't making his jumpers. Yeah, like, it's a cold photo shoot like thing. People are like, see, he's already a bust. Yeah, I mean, not and not for nothing. The NBA is not the fucking French league. I don't care what the fuck they say, and I know Europe's come a long way and blah 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 blah, but. You know, unless you're like Luca, and again, even Luca had more hype. I knew yep. who Luca was when Luca was 15 right. years old. Yep. So I guess Luca was winning chips out there. Yeah, against <laughs> grown men. Yep. <laughs> at 15, like he was out there. Yeah, Luke, Luke, Luke LeBron, <laughs> Luke, <laughs> Luke LeBron out there. The only people that didn't know about Luca was the Hawks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> As they just didn't take him because he was white. That's all. They just, <laughs> I know that's what happened. They was like, "It's Atlanta. We get. We need a brother." Like, yeah, Trey Young shoots like stuff. We can't. Right? We can't oh, have no. It? We can't have no Luka Doncic in, in, in Atlanta. What the, who's who's going by, best with Luka Doncic? You it'll know, man, it works. That's literally <laughs> what it was. And you know, so. Uh, but yeah, the, the Wemba thing. Uh, he's got to stay healthy, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see, right? Uh, yeah. You know? <laughs> like you said, it is good for the league. And yeah. don't act like you're not going to watch his first couple of games just to see. Oh, I mean, they're right. going to be nationally yeah. televised. Absolutely. I can't do anything but watch the games. Right. <laughs> like when I when I'm when the NBA is back and I'm Jones for some NBA, that's going to be the first thing put in my face. And the Sixers suck. So oh, uh, you don't want to run it back. Not ready for to run it back. Sixers leaking all their stuff. They got a good plan for the summer. Bring back Harden and B ball Paul. I wish I believed in the Sixers. Yeah, like Tobias them. Harris's dad believed in his son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tobias Harris, you sent me the thing. Tobias Harris's dad's like, my son is Superman and he could destroy the Justice League all by himself. Like, wait, yeah. what? Yeah. My son is John Wick and he cannot be stopped. Like, wait, what? My son is an NBA assassin. He would take Kobe Bryant out if he wasn't already gone. Whoa, Paul, it's too soon. Sorry, I apologize. But I'm just saying, this guy was writing crazy (laughs) stuff. I'm like, really was. I'm like, I get trying to hype up because he's also his agent. So I kind of get it. But like, you're talking silly. You sound dumb when you say stuff like that. And Tobias hasn't been a good player, better than a good player anywhere. No. His ceiling is good. He's a, you could have said he's an elite six man. And and it would have sounded better than that, even though yeah. it's like a slight because he's not right. coming off the bench. He's a, he's a good role player. He, he just is a role player. If That's he it. if he was your six man coming off the bench, he would be putting up more points because yeah. he can only score when nobody else is on the court. Because his biggest problem is he gets intimidated, he gets scared, and he wants to get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, he he's not elite at anything. I mean, compared to me, he is. Yeah, like yeah, he, I mean, he's in the NBA. It's not that he's a right. bad player. It's not that, and the worst part is he's a great human being and great. Such individual. a great guy. He is a great guy, yeah. and it's, it's, it's the curse of the 76ers. My gosh, you know, having to deal with you know Brett Clown, a great individual, great human being, but he yep. sucked. 
<laughs> and it's like, my goodness, how many times do I have to say preference? He's a great guy and then have to deal with the, oh, God, but he sucks. Right. So, you he know. He had a good, uh, his scene in that movie was good when he played one-on-one. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it, Netflix. Shut Hustle. Up. Yeah, shout out to Angelo. <laughs> Um, I want him to read my obituary when I pass. Cuz was in there too, you know. That's, that's <laughs> a, that's a, you know, um, I, I, I want to. I just don't know why we have to suffer like this. Maury didn't get any picks. Couldn't do anything. Nothing at all. Supposed to be this creative genius as a GM. What are we doing? What yeah. are we doing? Oh yeah, you said it already. We're running it back. Running back the rock. And I, I am not. But a new coach, so it's better now. Do you think Nick Nurse wants Harden? No, nobody would want Harden. So I don't know why Houston is rumored to want Harden. Well, he doesn't. They don't want him. And if they do want him, they want him for cheap. If you were going to have all those young kids like Houston has, there's a few players in the league you want to bring in to help those guys. Harden's not one. Harden's not one of them. Like (laughs) The last thing I want to do is have him take young guys under their wing and take them to strip clubs like like Zion. There'll be like nine Zions on the team. Did you see his girl, his ex with the tattoo? Yeah. Oh, man. So... We're we're getting we're we're, all over we're, we're already off topic. We I had a list of things to I'm talk sorry. about already. A lot of stuff happened. Though. A lot of stuff happened. We haven't done a show in a while, and I just hate this draft and I hate everything about. It. So first, before we talk about that, yeah, let me just say how bad the draft was because we started off with that. Mm-hmm. Um, there was three different M- NBA shows, NBA TV, mm-hmm. ESPN, like the main draft, and then ABC, where where they were doing these interview afterthought things, the human interest. Yeah. They do. So, so I'm like, okay. Right. So Sham's on NBA TV, ruining and spoiling picks, two and three picks ahead. Also ripping people off with some fake information. Yeah, terrible. And then uh, the ESPN live draft was already again behind the the leaks. And then the ABC afterthought. You're like, okay, well, I, I you're taking too long right. to interview these guys. Yeah. They're like six, eight, nine drafts behind. And I'm like, this it's just so. It's five minutes per pick, and the first round took longer than the NFL draft. First round. Especially. I don't know why they do this. You know what the first three picks are. I hate that. You know what the first You're not three picks trading are. it. You're not. The yeah. only one I thought might get traded was that third pick. There yeah. was a chance that was going to get traded. Yeah. I, I knew they weren't going to trade that, and I assume that they've got to move Dame somewhere because Dame is not happy. No, doesn't seem like he Dame is not happy. I know it was, you know, you, you were but talking he about, might be. You were talking about him. <laughs> hey, maybe when he gets in with in the gym with the kids, like, yo, this kid's got something that could happen too. Scoot would have went first in the different draft. Yeah, other years. Yeah, he I like him as a player, but I mean, from what I've read, it's not like I watch a lot of G League. Yeah, I won't pretend that I do. No, and uh, you know, the Sixers won the G League anyway, so that tells you all you need to know about <laughs> the G League. That we won a championship and nobody That's was right. there for it, so. Uh, the goats, the coats, the blue coats, yeah, the blue coats won this year. Seveners, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but the draft was just bad. Like it's too combobulated, too all over the place. It seemed very unorganized. They were announcing trades before picks, and it, the audio was also terrible. Right. You know what the other weird thing on the ESPN was that the one you were watching? Yeah, I was kind of flipping through all them, but yeah. So, and I should know who they are, but they weren't saying who the people were on set like they were never telling you who it was i know who i know jay bylas i know jj reddick i didn't know the two female hosts and that's bad on my part but i didn't know who they were and they never put it up there as to who it was yeah like i said the whole orchestra was just terrible and uh incombobulated i told you the thing that just makes me hate it the most what is the trade thing the way the nba does their trade stuff is so stupid the nfl announces the trade and the team that makes the pick is the team that traded for the pick yeah. The NBA does it where the Pacers make a pick, but it's really for the Mavericks. And then you got to go up there and wear a Pacers hat, do an interview with a Pacers hat on, talk about playing for the Pacers. And then they're like, by the way, you're not really going to the Pacers. Why? Like, right. Like, it's not that hard. The second Why? round was even worse. I tried to watch that just to see if the Sixers ended up trading into it. But picks were getting traded multiple times. So even on set, they didn't know who was really making the pick. It was so bad and such a hard watch. Yeah. It, it's just trash all right it's so exciting during the nfl draft when all of a sudden you see like oh the eagles helmet popped up like it moved up and you're like wait what right? and you're like you're like oh we're five picks away and all of a sudden you're yeah. not you're well the, and the real problem with the nba is there's 92 pick swaps 
before anything even happens yeah. anyway, yeah. which is why they should never wear a, a hat of an other player of the team Agreed. just to have some nostalgic 10 years later when they're like in the goat discussion, like remember yeah. he could have been a pacer. He was wearing yeah, a yeah. pacer hat. And <laughs> this, we got to explain that whole thing. Like it, it's, it's just a bad product and it's embarrassing for them it is. and Stern uh, not Stern, Silver. Shoot, Stern. I feel old today. <laughs> I'm out here grumping in clouds. <laughs> Silver. It's because it's hot. Needs to do better. Yeah, it's because it's humid. My yeah. brain's foggy. Uh, so yeah, the, the draft in general is just a piece of trash, and uh, I did not like it. It also doesn't help that it's like the NFL. You have all the mock drafts and stuff, and I know they have them for the NBA, but they're not as prevalent. So like, I don't know who the guys are. I'm not. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And this year was much different because the Sixers you know weren't involved well that that's also so also too. having kind of yeah. checked out on it yeah we weren't in it to win it so it didn't feel like anything and we're not going to be in it until 2031 anyway so Yay. enjoy <laughs> um so the outfits are terrible and they're not going to age well uh the the worst outfit of the day was who grady dick grady dick with a no place like home kansas yeah Ruby he was Reds. out there sparkling and twinkling and waiting. scoot's jacket was pretty ugly too i won't lie yeah but scoot has that jacket like uh lebron's son wore that jacket yeah. to prom i guess that might be like a certain kind of designer yeah. who's popular like i've seen I'm that sure. jacket everywhere and i'm like at least i know what it was like yeah. i've seen it before but again it was still stupid uh wemby had the french coat on with the uh lace front back yeah side. yeah yeah. i was like what well, i mean that that's a that's a thing that's the a french, front, yeah. like, okay. <laughs> that's a that's a french thing also so. i'm not a fan of uh they all wear the you know capri kind of cut pants when they're doing the interview yeah now, i mean they're all so tall so whatever but that's yeah. just not my thing well that's the other thing too they were sitting on those couches and yeah. your butt sunk in right so your knees are higher right. it's so made them look it, so much taller so it make yeah so it makes it even worse <laughs> yes for the capri pants to come up <laughs> uh i was like oh god it's just uh, again yeah, but Grady Dick's outfit was just horrible. The joke was funny, I guess. He has a weird TikTok compilation from his freshman year too. Like he just seems to be a uh, a weird guy that a character. He's a shooter. He's a character. Yeah. Um, you know. You know what really made me feel old? When Jawan Howard's son got drafted by the Magic. Oh yeah. And then they mentioned that Jawan played 20 years in the league. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. Like I remember watching him play in college. Yeah, you are old, so yeah, I'm not old. I just put it out there. I was just young then. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what old people say. <laughs> that's what all people say. Back in my day, the draft yeah. was better. Yeah. <laughs> the... <laughs> it's funny too because it was simpler and more straightforward. They they need two feeds and no sham. Right. That's like, it. I I appreciate it. Woj not spoiling the picks this year. He was the one that originated that stuff. Although I did love the way he used to not spoil it, spoil it with his creative language to do it. Mm -hmm. That always made me laugh. So what was the coolest thing in the draft to you? The coolest thing in the draft? Yeah. I like seeing the uh, the twins get drafted back to back four or five. So I thought that was, that is the coolest thing. Yeah. First of all, just having twins right. again in the league, but going top five. Right. Back would, to back. I was actually thinking before the draft, like how messed up would it be if one goes early and then one falls, falls. and then you're just stuck there, and, like and that, uh, and that, and that's what you're thinking too, because yeah, yeah, I thought the same thing. Uh, you know, because there are the Morris twins. There's been other twins and stuff in the league. My thing, what I was thinking before the draft even started, was there were like like Houston and OKC like have multiple, multiple. first round picks. Yeah. And I was like, how crazy would it be yeah, if you both. picked one? Yeah, and one slides to you because there right. was instances where there was like only three or four picks separated mm -hmm. by somebody getting to pick twice or they could have moved up yep. i was like that would have been cool i mean totally weird yeah but that would have like, like been awesome OKC for the league what, 42 picks in the next five years like yeah. they could move up whenever they yeah. wanted yeah that so that that would have been super cool to me but that was the coolest thing uh them going back to back the thompson twins um, the thompson twins a lot of people locally we're excited about the kid from Penn State getting drafted. Second round. Second round. Yeah. Um, Early in the second round. Yeah. And, you know, not a lot of kids from Penn State basketball get drafted. So that was oh, a big yeah. deal. Um, <laughs> and just a lot of people, apparently a lot of people knew him personally, like locally. Right. Like I know people that were tweeting about it and uh, posting about it on Facebook. And I'm like, you watch basketball? But they know the kids. So they're <laughs> like, oh, I watched him play. I, I guess yeah. he played locally or whatever. So uh, that was exciting locally for us here. That and the Villanova kids uh, fall in the first round was the other local story that people were uh, 
all over because yeah. no one knows why he fell. He was supposed to go top 10 and he fell to damn near 20. Yeah. I, I assume stuff's got to happen in your workout. One of the reasons that I heard, but nobody can, is they said it didn't look like he has fun while he's doing, was doing his workouts. So I know that's one of your favorites. It is. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he didn't look happy. Yeah. Like, uh, again, uh, you know, I, I told you this. One of the Leah's coaches told her to smile. Yeah. Well, first of all, you don't tell guys to smile, but maybe you do. Right. Maybe you wanted this guy to smile and yeah. be happy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, her mindset is I'm out here working, bro. Yeah. This is my job. Like, I'm focused. I don't want to. Because here's the thing. You could be perceived as goofing around, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, don't take it serious. And it depends on whose optics it is, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got one guy who's like, I'm a body language expert. I know. I'm like, oh, he's in here goofing around. He doesn't take this seriously. Or, oh, he's not a joyful person. He's not happy to be here. He doesn't want to be. So it's it's really hard for, especially for a kid. Um, uh, Speaking of stuff that's hard for kids, I know one thing. What's that? That goofball got drafted second overall. Oh, <laughs> Brandon Miller. He should not have went second overall. I don't think so either. I think Scoot his will be better, but he's 6'9", so that's I, the difference. I don't care about his height. I know. I don't care about his scoring ability. I don't care about his defense. Care about anything. I don't care about Just none his of opinions. That. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you who's the greatest because that's old. Meaning don't tell me who the greatest is. Right. <laughs> that is not the premise of this conversation right mm-hmm. now. Is the GOAT conversation overrated? Also, that's a horrible question. It's long. It's really a yes, no question. Like, it, it's bad. It It's a terrible question. Like... <laughs> Terrible format, right? Like <laughs> LeBron is the goat, so that automatically makes it stupid. <laughs> and he spot he did spot him the two goats. There are yes, only like, yes. questionably two goats right. in basketball. Mm-hmm. LeBron James, Michael Jordan. Those are two right. goats. That's so either argument. you say yes, it's overdone, or, no, it's not, or LeBron James or Michael Jordan are the goat. Right. Or you do this. So before he <laughs> answers it. that question, like, don't do it. I'm gonna let you know again. He knows LeBron James is the go to basketball yeah. because when spotted Jordan or LeBron, right. he didn't say Michael Jordan isn't the go to basketball. Right. <laughs> he said LeBron. LeBron James is the go to basketball. So that means he knows. Yeah. He's smart enough to know LeBron James is the go to basketball. Who? <laughs> Paul George is <laughs> my go to basketball. I grew up watching him. Okay. Say it's my favorite player. It's my favorite player. That's cool. Paul George, the only goat. To pa- where's the Where's the only time that Paul George can be known as the goat? Only, uh, uh, I mean, when he got hurt. Like- Never. <laughs> his at podcast, no, his at podcast no, is pretty good. No, not in podcasting. <laughs> at no level, at right. no era, in no space. He wasn't the best college player. He, he, was wasn't, like- he wasn't the best pacer. Right. That's Reggie Miller. <laughs> Nowhere has he played basketball. Has he been the goat of yeah. anything? I don't know what his high school is. Maybe he's the goat of uh, 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 Burger Elementary and f- f- wherever Burger he went. Elementary. I don't know where he went to school. At. I don't care because he's not the goat. Nobody knows. Right. Okay. I know where LeBron went to school at. You know what I mean? I know where Kobe went to high school at. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But this guy, he couldn't even have said Kobe. Yeah, I would have been all right. He like, could have said Kobe. Kobe right? He could have said Magic. <laughs> he could have said there are 22 people he could have said before it started getting outlandish. He could have said Allen Iverson. Yeah. <laughs> he could have said Allen Iverson. Right. You grew up watching Paul. I can't beat LeBron James George. Right. Way <laughs> off P instead of playoff P. Mm-hmm. Oh, how sway. I just like I again, just say it's your favorite player, and that's okay if that's his favorite player growing up because you know they're the same height, maybe same style, whatever. That's great. I'm out of my game after him. Just the goat. He's not even the best player on the Clippers. Your basketball IQ has to be zero, and I assume that this kid's gonna flop. <laughs> you are dumb, and I know 
that it wasn't like, oh, oh, and he's a kid. He, you know, was yeah. in the moment. Got him on. This dude came out and said, Michael Jordan ain't shit. Yeah. He came out and said, I, I, he airballed. I seen him airball. He came out talking trash about the second greatest player in NBA history. So obviously, when he was still the owner of the team that drafted him. Exactly. He knew what was going down. <laughs> he was talking that smack. So it's not like he's, like he's dumb, but he's not dumb. Yeah, I just. Paul George? I don't, I don't know. It hurt my feelings when I heard it. It. I, I thought it was borderline racist. I, I, I comprehend that. And I, you know why? Because when you go to racism, it makes you feel a certain way. It, it makes you feel either you're for racism or you're against. But either way, it is polarizing and it makes you feel something. That's why I said it was offensive. Yeah. It was racist. <laughs> I felt bigotry in my heart towards other goats. I don't know what was going on, but it was bad. We talked when we talked a little bit about it before. I said afterwards, I, the interview would have just ended because I would have been so silent. I would have had no follow up. Maybe the most I was like, I'm sorry, I might have misheard you. Did you say Paul George? And then he, and then the, right. and the only reason the report didn't do that because he's a professional. He don't want to get he don't want to get beat down by Paul George. He right. let everybody else do <laughs> yeah, it. But he was like, I'm gonna let this joint breathe because yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get smacked for like questioning the Paul George of life. But my God, it has been like, all right then. And you went second overall. Second you, overall. You better ball. He. So if he if he, he has went to the Hornets, so it's not going to work out. True. That's enough. That's an well, organization. That well, I mean, the Hornets uh, don't have the same trash owner, but they have the guy that just <laughs> screwed that owner over. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's a smart guy. No. Smart guy. When I, when I, mean, I, you, I mean, not all the money he lost the other way. So <laughs> he just got it back for free. <laughs> he lost the money. That's he yeah. he no, he's smart. You're right. He's a hedge fund manager. He lost other people's money, right? And then got bought back into taking somebody else's ownership. Got promoted. <laughs> That's why Michael Jordan's not to go. I, I love nothing more than people telling me, uh, nobody's ever robbed LeBron James people's shoes. Nobody's killed nobody, shot nobody over LeBron's. Like, first of all. That's a cool story. I mean, nobody's ever shot anybody over LeBron's, but you know, they've they shot people have. over Jordan's. It's right. so like, second of all, this isn't the 90s <laughs> right. where people are jacking people for their shoes. Now the game's digital and all the shoes get sold online and you're overpaying for everything anyway. Yep. Third of all, so if your off court accomplishments make you the goat and equ equivalent to your goat conversation, mm -hmm. then Jordan isn't the goat. Nope. He's out here putting money into prisons. Uh, he's out here uh, uh, losing money on 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 uh, ownership. The team he owned sucked. If we're doing off the court stuff, then it's Dwayne Wade for hosting the Cube, right? Yeah. He becomes the goat. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. The Cube. The Cube. <laughs> TNT. If, if it was if off the court goats, Shaq. We should. Yeah. Shaq is <laughs> Shaq is one the top off the court goat. We should we should do that list. Who's the top five off the court goats? Um, it's hard to tell because some of them do it anonymously with stuff like Barkley donates a ton of stuff but doesn't talk about no, it. No, no, no. I, I, it ain't about donating. I don't give a fuck about Barkley. Barkley lost too much money in gambling. He, he don't <laughs> oh, count. He's good. He Oh, he could be good. Yeah, he's That's good. why he's going to be working until he's 92 years old because he keeps throwing money away. That's not work. Shut I up. I don't I don't care what it is. All I know is he's not he's not in the top you. five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasn't don't, to yeah don't, don't Barkley me. I'm riled up today because we ain't had shit. Been a while. Ain't had nothing. No, forget us. I'm talking about. The, I'm just thinking about the draft. We ain't got nobody. I'm thinking Sixers in the back hey, of my mind. Just silver me. lining. The Sixers didn't draft a bust. <sighs> He's just as good as Zaire Smith. That's good. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. Um. So, uh, our boy also. I'll uh, get back into regular things. I like that the show is randomly uh, sprump, bumping around today. Nah, we always do this. Ben Simmons put out his videos, workout videos, edited them this time there. So, well, photoshopping. That is the most embarrassing thing. Out. It's weird. So, if you're <laughs> if you're a booty butt BBL chick and you want to do uh squat videos and tell people they can get their butt bigger after you went down to Miami and got a butt lift, mm -hmm. cool. That that's normal. Yeah. But when you are an NBA basketball player already in elite physical condition and no one's ever questioned the way you look and you have someone Photoshop your arms and your shoulders to look your bigger. shoulders, not only your shoulders, they also photoshopped his calves. Why did you need your calves bigger, bro? Right. Are you that insecure? Are you that uh, like that's so embarrassing? And it's so weird. My favorite thing is too. you told on yourself, you posted the regular photo and right. video. 
and then and then put a story up of the edited stuff. Like, bitch, you know that I can see you, right? right. You no, know that when I look, compare, I, I don't think he knows how the internet works. I mean, he did do a nice little troll job yeah. when the Sixers got bounced, but he doesn't know how the internet works, and that was embarrassing for him. And oh god, it's just the same old jam. The people in his circle are just the biggest yes men in the history of anything, right? Like they will not tell him like, hey, that's a bad idea, man. They are terrible people. And what's the guy's name that says something about Hertz? Oh, uh, man, you caught me off guard with it. I'm oh, sorry. I got it. Marcus Hayes. Marcus Hayes. Marcus Hayes, tell me you got a little dick without telling me you got a little dick. <laughs> oh, Jalen Hurts is the most insecure. What? <laughs> Him so, and Nick Wright came at Jalen Hurts this week, too. Oh, well, Nick Wright has to come at Jalen yeah, Hurts. He has enough, yeah. No, he, he, he's a Kansas City fan. He's a Kansas City fan. Yeah. His goat is the goat mm-hmm. goatin right now. And he sees a threat. And every time he sees a threat, got to knock it down. Yes, he does. Because it was, um, Allen before it was mm-hmm. hurts like he's got to knock down the second coming yeah. to keep his guy propped up as number one. I get but the that. Marcus Hayes one but like the, just tell me you got nothing to write in the middle of the summer, bro. This dude surrounds himself with power boss chicks. Okay, right. no yes men. He's wearing purple. Like <laughs> yeah, I mean like he's insecure. Right. He's uh, like come he on. This is all the weird phrases. Right. <laughs> like I, you know, I was just like uh, out there talking about Anita Baker. Where's his insecurity? My man's bulletproof. Right. He is secure. <laughs> He is secure. Uh, yeah, so just, just, uh, Philly he always just, has been. Like, you know, he was told change positions, all that nonsense. Yeah. And he was like, no, I'm a quarterback. Yeah. Like, everything about it. Got benched. Proved us all wrong. Uh, yeah, again, just, just right. stop. It's summertime, bro. Just let it go. Right. Embarrassing yourself. Right. Another thing about Georgia players. That's, that's yeah. all you got to do right now. That's all you got to do. Right. Um, what was that guy? The singer. Luke Bryan. Yeah, he came out now. He's gotta be. I'll tell you one thing. That's 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 one thing how he did and Lori did. They've taken a whole era and brought in a whole new fan group. Yep. Like they got a they got at least two million extra Eagle fans. South. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Their, their jerseys are gonna be flown through the roof now. Viewership is gonna bump at least 10% because a lot of those college, great marketing. Oh, great marketing. Because you know how it is too college is such a cult like how the nfl is a cult yeah and there's guys that don't even watch nfl like and that plus if you're a georgia fan you're not gonna waste time watching the falcons no you're just not gonna not at all like not at all so <laughs> even it, though they got Bijan, yeah they got Bijan. Bijan, got that Bijan mustard yeah but like, so, you're not gonna waste time watching them when you can watch the eagles yeah all right so it, it, it is what it is but um yeah and and the last thing i just don't understand why we have to suffer the way we do <laughs> it's not fun it it's not fun uh philadelphia just i, I really just want to have my kid root for another team i thought about that a lot like just to get her into like a bet because right now she's just philly mm. for life and i understand that but i'm like should I just have her just have a second? Because I love the NFL so much. Like, you remember, I used to wear everybody's jersey. I just well, never that was rocked anybody. I had so many jerseys. Yeah, I never I never wear anybody in my conference. That's it. That right. was my rule. I, if I liked Peyton Manning or whatever, he was in my conference and on the day. If he played by team, I wouldn't root for him. But right. I just liked great players. I liked great football, great basketball. And now it's just like I am trying to be loyal, but my girl – She's not even cheating on me. She just don't care. <laughs> no, yeah, not even she a callback. She ain't cooked dinner. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't got no head in like two years. Like, yeah, you know I mean, she's just there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just there, changing outfits, looking cute, but ain't doing nothing for me. I can't touch nothing. Got us close I a couple times. See nothing then left. Didn't even get me close. I mean, oh, yeah, we got to the championships a couple times. So, you know. Well, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you Philly in general. Yeah, I didn't mind. I was just talking about the Sixers. Oh, yeah, Sixers don't get there. Philly in general, they did teases. They got us. You know what I mean? Times. They mm-hmm. wore they wore a nighty and then didn't get in bed. They just like yeah, we gonna get. I mean, just passed out on. So I mean, it's just rough. It is just rough. Uh, so for as much fun as it was with those championship runs, losing all of them really wasn't that fun. Like, kind of sucked, right? So. To me, honestly, because this is a discussion in general, the 04 loss hurt more than this loss. Yes. For two reasons. One, I didn't expect us at the beginning of the year to be in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And two, we have one. Yeah. Like it's- and the Phillies, I didn't expect them to be in the World Series. Nope. And the ride that they took us on so fun. was so good. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it was so, and it was so exciting. Like, right. the way they were winning, 
So I'm not even, excuse me, as Bless mad you. as I would be. The second round Sixers. Yeah. I'm more mad about the Sixers than I am about losing championships. At least we're in there. You know what's going to really make me mad this week about them? All the people online that are like, well, you don't understand that they almost beat Boston. Just if a couple things went their way. So why wouldn't you just run it back? Like, because it's going to play out the same way. Yeah. And you and you didn't beat Boston. Right. And that's <laughs> this almost point. beat Boston. Yeah. You that didn't, and uh, you didn't, though. Like, we can't just trade Tobias. You, you underrate Tobias. Like, no, I don't. No, I, I he's a pro- role player. And if I could break him into three role players, I'll do it. I properly rate Tobias. So, you know, you can say what you want to say. If you're his dad, I get yeah. it. But anybody else like, no, I properly rate Tobias. And we're just in a bad holding pattern. And you were at game six. You should have won it. Yeah. Right. But you didn't. Game seven, it was just even worse for you. It was embarrassing. And you've got the same players. They're going to do the exact same thing because history has shown me right. that that's what they do. So there's no difference. There's right. no oh, this is the time we're going to get over it. If you just run it back, it'll be okay. Nick Nurse is going to be like, hey, guys, don't choke this time. Exactly. And they'll be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Good idea. I never even. I mean, he might actually know how to play against the zone, and it's he awesome. might actually run a zone in defense. Yeah. So, I mean. He could also blame everybody else, a la Mr. Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Doc can't coach. And Glenn. Yeah, no, he's Doc now. He's oh, not coaching no more. No, he's okay. good. He can go back to being Doc. He was Doc before he got here. <laughs> I just had the stipulation. If he got me out of the second round, I mean, I put that stipulation because I knew that I was never going to have to call him Doc while he was my coach. Yeah. Good so call by you. It was a great call by me. I'm from the future. I was right. <laughs> I was right. And, and the, the the worst part about this our whole relationship is that you've been broken so many times because back in the day, I was a positive. we, we used to fight all the time because I was telling you, like, yo, bro. I know. Yep, I, I love Ben Simmons. Nope. Uh, Draft, I love Ben Simmons uh, first who's year. Ben Simmons? I love Ben Simmons. <laughs> After the first year, I'm like, whoa, bro. I saw this last summer and he came back to that. And you're like, no, nah, he blah, 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 blah. Shh, shh. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. But you start to get broke down now. Now you back in now you back in my land. It's in, not fun. In reality. It is not fun, right? <laughs> like that's the thing. I like when, being optimistic. When we're arguing, like, and there's like yeah. a couple friends like with you, like my one boy be cussing me out. And I'm like, yeah. I don't want to be this way. Right, yeah. It's no. not like I'm saying this to just be mean. They're my right. team. Right. He's like, you might as well just not be a fan. I was like, no, it's because I am a fan. Because I care that much. Yes, and I know it's coming. It's not that I want to be like this at all. So I told you when, <sighs> like, when I'm Facebook posting or tweeting during a game and it gets negative, like, I'm only negative for that moment. If yeah. it gets positive again, I'm right back yeah. on it. And, like, and, I'm not. And, and that's the problem with you being so positive. Because now people rip you whenever yeah, you I say know. anything. It's so funny. Remotely negative. Because they're like, oh, now you're just switching up and bubble. They blah. never noticed the positive post, though. No. no. Like, what are you talking about? Right? I, <laughs> I, hey, that's that's the world we live in. Um, so, yeah. I also love admitting when I'm wrong on those ones. It's funny. Yeah. yeah I it's mean, funny finding an old well, post and yeah, being like, jeez. Well, yeah, I, I, I wish Twitter would randomly pop up like how Facebook does and tell you old tweets just so you can be like, oh, wow, I said that. I got some, I had some good Ben Simmons ones. Ooh. You know. Man, I bought Ben Vision Simmons. I, I thought I, I was going to have a nickname for my guy. Yeah. Everything. I think I posted a couple of his workout videos before. Like, <laughs> it's on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember you You believed, boy. You believed. You were like. That's one of the worst ones I've had. You thought Santa Claus was real, bro. You thought Santa Claus was real. Um. So, yeah. Just the draft sucks. Bad product. Sixers uh, suck. Yeah. Follow us on the Instagrams. And uh, the Twitters and the uh, Facebooks and uh, they'll be sporadic in the summer, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna. I'm gonna make a list of things like that, like top five uh, off the, off the cuff coaches or off the cuff dogs, or whatever. We're Told you my favorite one lists. that we gotta do. We gotta go through all the process misses. Whew. I ain't got that just kind of time. Just be sad. We should just I, drink during that one. I ain't got that kind of time. <laughs> I'm not. Oka four. Yeah. Oh god, <laughs> that makes me sick. <laughs> I might need a throw throw bucket is that oh my god it's so embarrassing anyway we're on the internet follow us uh yeah we're out yep